this lesson, we're going to walk you through putting together a publication. We'll incorporate what we've actually learned to show you how easy it can be to create stunning publications using Publisher. After this lesson is through, we'll teach you even more advanced features to use when designing publications, so when you start to use Publisher on your own, it'll feel like you've been using it all your life. So the first thing you should always do when creating a new publication is to decide if you want to use a template or create one from scratch. We've decided that we're going to create an engagement party invitation from scratch. So we've opened up our blank document, and the first thing we've got to decide on is a background. And we're going to use a picture. As a reminder, to do that, you'll go to Background, More Backgrounds, and then select Picture or Texture Fill. And this is the picture that I've decided to use as my background. And because it started out a little dark, I've changed the transparency to 40%. And that just makes it so when we add text and other objects to our background, it's more visible. So now that we've set up our background, we can start adding other objects to our publication. I've set my margins to moderate, and I'm setting the page size to A5 instead of legal. Now let's set up our guides. I'm choosing a preset guide simply because it works well with the background design that I've chosen. Now we're going to start by adding an image to the invitation. We want a picture of the couple on the invitation, of course. This will be a very important aspect. It's important to note that when you design a publication from scratch, if you want a certain object to be the focal point of the publication, place that into the publication first and then work from there. So there's the image I've inserted. And first I've resized it by dragging on the corners. And I want to kind of make it look like the picture is within the rows. So I'm going to click on the Recolor tab. And I'm going to change the color to make it match the background. And under my picture styles, and then I also just went ahead and gave it a soft edge with picture effects so that it'll blend better with the background. Next, we want to make sure that the image of the couple stands out. We also want love to be the symbol all the way through this publication. It is an engagement announcement after all. And because of that, we're going to draw a heart shape on our publication. So I'm going to insert my shape, heart shape right over the couple there. And right now that looks horrible. Obviously we don't want to leave it looking like that. So first we're going to get rid of the fill color because we want it to be transparent or no fill. We're going to change the color of the border by using the sample line color and sampling the lightest part of the background image. We're also going to increase the weight of the border line. And you can resize that too if you decide. Now let's add some shape effects so that the heart blends in more with the publication, but brings out the image of our couple. We're going to use a bevel and a glow. Here's what that looks like once we've applied our effect. We can also resize and rotate the heart to make it look how we want. And I've also added two new shapes to symbolize rings and to help make the heart shape look a little more attractive in the design. Now we're going to add text boxes and text. Now after we've added our text box and text and finished up our design, we have our publication. We can make any final adjustments, and then under View, we can turn off our guide to see what the finished product will look like. We're going to save our publication, and over the next few lessons, we'll use it again.